Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For this Polly Pocket Showcase, I'm going to be showing the little purses. I love that they fit me. I especially love this seashell one because this is one of the newer ones that they just came out with. I actually pre-ordered this two months ago and then I randomly saw it at Target. So I bought it and I canceled the pre-order since it was taking forever anyway. Let's take a look at these adorable purses. I am gonna start with the seashell purse because this is their newer design and I was very excited to showcase this. This is also one of the highly requested ones that people have asked me to showcase. First, I wanna go over the actual string that turns this into a purse. This is made of plastic, but it's a little stretchy, just ever so slightly. It's actually really comfortable and me being an adult wearing it, it fits me perfectly fine and it looks really cute on me, honestly. On the back, there are these two loops because you can wear this on your belt. Here are the instructions and you can loop a belt through this and wear it on your hip, just like this. But the awkward thing is removing the actual strap. Inside this lock, there are two knots and it's actually really hard to untangle them. So if you want to remove the strap, you will have to use your finesse and untangle this or just cut it off if you don't care about this contraption here. The exterior is super pretty. This is actually pearlescent. Up close, you can see little glitters and swirlies. These heart and star embellishments are also super cute. They look like buttons. I also like how this and the other two purses I'm gonna show can stand on their own. So there's a platform here and you can display them like this. Now we are going to open it and to do that, you just turn this latch made of the Polly Pocket logo, very cute. It's so colorful and beautiful and immediately reminds me of The Little Mermaid when they were singing under the sea and everything was just so colorful and all the fish were dancing. That's what this looks like to me. On the bottom, we have the sea floor with really nice textures to it. There's a seahorse here, which looks like one of those rocking animals that you see on playgrounds. There's a merry-go-round octopus. She's so happy. Some beautiful designs over here. There's an anchor, seashells, this happy starfish, which you can turn and you see a shark and a turtle that is so cute. There's also another turtle right there. There's a pretty pink seashell over here with some gold stars on it. And when we open it, we get a beautiful pearl. There's even a heart that is so pretty. There are a couple more animal friends on the sea floor. We have a crab over here, a fishy, and just a bunch more seashells and starfish. Another seahorse there too. On the second level, we have a different scenario. We are getting closer to the surface. We can see this boat up here. There is also a surfboard with a poly stick. The ocean waves look so beautiful. I love the movement that they conveyed here. And I love the use of translucent plastic. The boat has a really cute design. It is purple and it has teal seahorses and seashells and bubbles. We can also see the beach in the background and the cliffs. It is summertime because the sun is out. The beach is empty because we're not allowed to go to the beach right now, but you know what? We are gonna go to the beach in this compact. The boat also has an anchor coming down from it. So here's the anchor. There's an underwater castle over here, which looks super gorgeous. There's a giant seashell, seaweed, really nice embellishments over here too. And we get a happy starfish right in the middle. This of course is a door. Inside we see a bunch of jellyfish just having a party. We also have this jellyfish seat where the dolls can just kind of chill and swim with a jellyfish. I really love the jellyfish graphic. They did a good job with the vibrant colors and all the details and just conveying a lot of movement. Same thing with the background here where we can see all the fishies. They definitely put a lot more detail into these graphics than they do normally. And here is Polly as a beautiful mermaid. 
This is the first pure mermaid doll that I have gotten in the modern Polly Pocket set. Her tail is actually attached to her, so it's not an additional accessory. She is indeed a true mermaid, very pretty. Her hair is also really gorgeous. Again, it has lots of movement, which makes it look like she's swimming. Then we have Lila, who is just regular human Lila. So this is Polly's human friend. Her hair is really pretty. I have never seen this hairstyle before. It's one long braid from the top of her head all the way down to her back. It's super unique. We also get this adorable submarine. This is actually a pretty good size, so we can probably fit both the dolls in here. There's even this little propeller. And this opens up to reveal the inside. It's also got really good potential for repainting because they left a lot of these unpainted. So I can see the window here, some windows here. Just lots of really good ideas for painting in the future. And here is our sea-themed poly stick. We have starfish, seashells, and of course the signature heart Polly Pocket logo. This next purse is called Rainbow Dream. This time the strap is pink and we get the same loops over here if you want to wear it on your belt. It also has little tiny glitters just like the seashell purse. This one is a little more simple. They did put a sticker here of a rainbow instead of texturizing it and having these little twinkles be embellishments that actually pop out. So I don't think a lot of effort was really put into this one. I just think that stickers are an easy and quick and cheap way to decorate something, but it would have been nice for the exterior of this purse to have a lot more texture. The cloud is really pretty though. Super simple, but it just works. Same lock over here. I'm going to twist it and open it. It is a playground theme and it's very cute and fun. The bottom is really empty, but we do have a lot of accessories that come with this, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Here we have a little dog park. We can see the fire hydrant, which turns and the platform turns with it. There is also a tiny water bowl over there. There's a beautiful purple fence and I actually wish that this opened like a gate, but as far as I can tell, it does not. We also have a skate park, which looks really nice. Very simple, but you can definitely run the character across here very easily. We have this familiar looking rainbow seesaw. This is the same one that was in the unicorn pinata that I showcased a few months back. There is also a little picnic area over here and a merry-go-round with beautiful heart platforms. And all around the floor, we see a grassy texture with a bunch of flowers and really, really long grass. The second level has a lot more going on, a lot more colors. The first thing we see is this jungle gym. This is a rope that you can climb, and I'm all too familiar with this because I always had a hard time climbing this as a kid. We also have this clubhouse looking thing. Here we can see the tic-tac-toe games that we see on playgrounds. There's a pretend steering wheel over here. I'm not sure what these are. I don't think I've ever seen these. Flip this around, we can see a rock climbing area. On the inside, we can just see a continuation of the graphic in the background. So we can see the little swan, a lake, a pretty hill with trees, this beautiful rainbow up here. And this rainbow also expands. There we go. Then on this side, we have more playground equipment. So this one swings to the side and the swing, of course, swings. Here's another climbing contraption that I could not do as a kid. And up here is the lookout platform where you can see the rest of the playground. We can also see a beautiful bridge in the background and a cityscape. Overall, it's not as impressive and detailed as the seashell purse, 
but I really like the concepts up here. I love that it looks just like a real playground. I like how this swings out. Even though it comes with accessories, the bottom still looks pretty empty. I just think they could have painted those flowers and added more depth to the grass. But again, all of these are future potential repainting crafting work. So I have that to look forward to in the future. Here is Polly looking like her regular self. She has a rainbow shirt on, which is very fitting because it matches the theme of this compact. Then we have Shawnee who also has a rainbow shirt so they can match. They look so cute together with their matching shirts. Here is our little dog friend. I don't know if it's a boy or girl, but I'm just gonna say boy because he kind of looks like my gadget. He is attached to a leash, which fits in one of the doll's hands. We have this pink scooter, very cute. A purple skateboard, also very cute. And we have this teeny tiny picnic basket with drinks, fruits, whatever those are. Here is our poly stick, and I am gonna use it this time because there are several platforms where the dolls need to stand and they're not gonna be able to stick if I don't use these. I just realized I'm supposed to use this heart with a paw print sticker on the dog park and instead I used this pink heart, but that's okay because at least they all match. And the last purse is called Tropical Pineapple Purse. Obviously, this is tropical themed. We can see that by the flowers over here. And this whole thing is a cute pineapple. I just love the look of this thing. I love the texture, the embellishments, the flowers. Up close, there's glitter as well, just like with the other two purses. Up here, we get the leaves of the pineapple. The strap is lime green, which works really well with the color scheme of this compact. And of course, the same contraption here where you can wear it on your belt. There's also a lot more going on on the inside. We have a bunch of accessories. So let's open this up. We are definitely in the jungle or some kind of tropical area that is so beautiful and we can already tell what kind of weather is going on here. Very humid, very sunny. On the bottom, there is a beautiful lagoon. There's this waterfall that comes all the way down into this huge body of water. We get a happy hippo swimming in the water. And when we open her mouth, we just see the inside of her mouth. That mouth opens pretty wide. We also get some meerkats over here. At least I think they're meerkats. There's a rhino over here, just chilling, sleeping. In this rocky den over here, there is a lion. Again, it's pretty empty here because we need to fill it up with the accessories that came with the compact. Just some textures over here, same grassy texture with flowers. There's also a creepy looking snake over here. That's pretty random. On the second level, it looks really beautiful. It looks like a vacation. We see these giant palm trees over here on the sides and right down the middle. We have this rope ladder leading up to this hut. The hut has a lot of really good details. We can see the paneling here, flowers, plants, this torch, the roof made of straw. And when we open it, we see the cozy interior. There's a cute little parrot and hummingbird. There's also a hammock in addition to this cozy lounge chair. On the side, there's also some pillows and decorations up here. 
It just looks super cozy and I would love to stay here for a night or two just enjoying the tropical view. And the graphic is really beautiful as well, just like with the other compacts. There's another hut over here. We see a flamingo, more exotic birds, a volcano in the background, just really beautiful scenery. Here is Polly and she is wearing a pineapple shirt, which of course matches the compact. I love her color scheme because of the really bright yellow, which fits the theme and it just looks really good on her. And we have Lila who also has a pineapple shirt, but this time it is the entire shirt, which looks really cute. They look really cohesive with their outfits. I am loving the color scheme and I love how happy they look. We have a little monkey friend who's in the most awkward position. We're supposed to hang him on the vines and he can swing around. Another cute animal friend, which is this super tall giraffe and she is eating a leaf, which acts as a hook. And I'm gonna show you guys how to put that together in just a few minutes. We also get this brown boat and it has oars on the side. We have this dining area on a gigantic leaf. There are two purple chairs and a pink table with some drinks. They're on little tiny pineapples. That's so adorable. And we get this really long vine, which we're gonna attach onto the compact and it just, stretches straight across. Of course, we have our tropical themed poly stick. There's some pineapple crosshatch patterns all throughout here, actual pineapples here, some butterflies, just very, very pretty poly sticks. And this is how the contraption looks put together. So it goes from this palm tree all the way down to the giraffe. And this little dining area goes up and down. And you do have to remove this when you close the compact, otherwise it won't close. It's kind of weird how it's just sitting on top of the rhino. The rhino is just trying to get some rest and we're like, excuse me, we're gonna go eat. I think this is really interesting and creative and this is what first drew me to this compact and I've never seen anything like this, so I like this a whole lot. Of course, my favorite one is the seashell because it is one of the newer ones that just came out and it reminds me of the actual seashell purse that they released way back then. I'm still trying to get my hands on that one. It's very expensive right now, but it's really pretty. I really love the concept of these purses. I think they're super cute and creative and I can't wait to see future designs that they come up with. And of course, I'm gonna buy them all because I'm a collector and I, I, I just love them. I don't need to explain myself, okay? I just like them. Thank you for watching this Polly Pocket purse showcase. That was a tongue twister. And I'll see you on the next one.